My name is Asbjørn. I'm the viola player of the Danish String Quartet. My name is Rune Tønsgaard Sørensen, and uh, I play the violin. Fredrik Schelin. Um, I was born in Norway. I'm Norwegian. Uh, I currently live in Copenhagen. My name is uh, Frederik. Uh, in Danish, that would be Frederik Øland, uh, but that's trickier to pronounce. I grew up in a pretty small place in a village, so uh, where I grew up, I was the only kid playing classical music, so I had a lot of friends, but I didn't have any friends playing classical music. And then I met um, some of these boys in a, in a summer school for, for music. And the three of us, uh, Rune, Ashbjorn and I, we met doing that. Uh, something like 15, maybe more years ago. And um, we became very good friends. Um, and we just, we were hanging around, playing music together, side reading, drinking beers, whatever friends do. And later on, uh, Frederik, our cellist, um, joined us. That was in 2007, I think. For me, uh, it would be uh, Viking age, I think, to experience how they were as a people. They're often uh, uh, mentioned as uh, brutal beasts. I would like to see another side of these people. I would have loved to try to be in the 60s, I guess. I would have loved to go to a Beatles concert or a Rolling Stones concert when they just uh, started playing together. I think that must have been f so fantastic. I love everything that comes from this decade. Uh, I have a car myself, which was built in 1968. Maybe it's a little bit of a cliche, but I would have loved to see the first performance of the Sacre du Printemps. I think that would have been so much fun of being a part of. <laughs> Just see, you know, experiencing the mood of this piece coming to life and the audience going crazy and throwing things on the stage and something like that. I would have loved to have seen that. Before the First World War, when I, when I read books about those good old days, I love this kind of feeling that everybody are very innocent. They, they think that there's some hope left in the world, and I think we lost a little bit of this in those two terrible wars. To like to practice is a, is a very strong word. But, uh, I actually enjoy it because it's a very simple uh, place to be. It's much more simple than your normal life sometimes is. So I, I enjoy to go to a room and just be able to focus on, on one thing that I really enjoy. No. <laughs> Basically, I hate it. No, it, it depends, depends, depends. Uh, I do actually. Um, it's time spent with yourself where you can go, uh, you can go into a deep concentration and, and focus only about your own mind. Uh, and this is very precious. I think it's maybe a little bit like cleaning the house or something. You don't really look forward to it, but when, when you go, you do the things, um, then it actually feels good. It's a situation where, for, just for this one, once in your life, and you know, when you practice, you can actually fix stuff. <laughs> I've never been like a super nerd practicing eight hours a day, but of course you cannot you know, be a professional musician without practicing. So I'll do what it takes.